Most people know about Chernobyl, the nuclear power plant disaster in the 80s. Let's just take a minute to appreciate this awesome scene from the miniseries Chernobyl when Legasov stands up against the Central Committee to say, no, actually, things aren't under control, and in reality, we are in it deep. This scene is not action-packed by any means, but the significance and weight of what he is saying is palpable. This scene wouldn't have worked as well if it had occurred in any other moment within the series. Up until this moment, the weight and scale of the disaster had not been addressed. People are operating under misinformation or false representations. Before we see Legasov walk in front of the proverbial firing squad, the writers set up the situation beautifully by establishing the tone. The tone of the time, the tone of the country, the tone of the authority figures within upper levels of government, as well as lower management figures. This is a time and place where they most certainly shot the messenger. And what happens when we create an environment where you make it wildly unpleasant to deliver bad news? People stop delivering bad news. Most people will hide the truth and become liars rather than subject themselves to genuine threats and consequences. But that's not what dear Legasov did. Despite the pressures to toe the line, to downplay the significance of the incident, he stood up against some of the most formidable members of government and said what needed to be said to fix the problem. And this opens the door later to one of my most favorite types of scenes, where you see an expert doing whatever it is that they do best. The scenes where Legasov, Yelena, and others apply their extensive knowledge of math and physics to troubleshoot solutions to a nuclear power plant that's just been blown to kingdom come are inspiring. For instance, when reports that radiation was measuring at 3.6 ronkins, which they claim was the equivalent to a chest x-ray, Legasov informs them that 3.6 ronkins is closer to 400 x-rays, thank you very much. And by the way, 3.6 is just where the meter maxes out and the real number is likely much higher. There are so many moments like that where they slip in actual information so that if you're paying attention, you can also learn something, like how nuclear fire reacts under certain conditions. This, along with scenes where workers knowingly walk towards certain death to do what has to be done, are so compelling to watch. And what's amazing is it's not fiction. People actually did these acts of self-sacrifice to repair as much of the damage as they could. Whatever flaws in the system there were, what you can say about them was that they were incredibly brave and noble. So, if you are looking for something to watch this weekend, I recommend the miniseries Chernobyl. I would also like to take a second to say thank you to all the people who have subscribed. This is a new channel and every subscriber is noticed with great excitement and appreciation. I'll see you on the next one.